white supreme hair that we have here. I'm just going to pull off a big hunk of it. And we're just going to lash this on. And what you can do also is if you you want to do a different type of surf candy. Like I said, right now I'm just trying to demonstrate how, how clear this stuff cures and the flexibility that it does offer. Um, but you can always add a secondary color on top. And you can also add lateral lines um, that will show up just perfect with this. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just going to do a nail knot. You really don't... Or a, there's a quick knot here. You could whip finish if you'd like, but you're really just bonding the, um, that flex is going to bond all your knots. I'm not going to be too worried about it. I'm using the flexible version right here. Just apply it, get your material, start squeezing your syringe, and get your material spread out to where you want it to be. I like to add the, the eyes before I actually do this. Um, and just so happens I, I have a couple sitting right here. So you can add your eyes and then coat it with the, the flexible goo. And that locks them in so the eyes have nowhere to go but to stay on because they're buried inside the this uh, clear cure goo flexible. Alright, now I'm going to continue on putting this material on here. And I just typically use the applicator tip to spread the material around to where you like it to be. Um, do the bottom here. Get an even coat. Something to, to, to think about is you also need to attach it down here at the base. And extend it a little bit past the uh, the band, where you can get all your material to stick. Surf candies are material intensive. They, they they take a lot of material to build. If you're going to do a uh, a surf candy with this flexible and you're building it up this large, you're probably going to get um, right around 30, 30 surf candies out of one syringe. By pulling on it, it kind of works the, works the material into the fibers. It also lets you see where, you're, where you need to um, add more material, like which is right in here. The, the great thing about this stuff is that even after it's cured, you can add more material. And it's a nice benefit. It forms one unit. You know, a lot of people complain about the tacky feel. That tacky feel actually acts as a bonding agent which allows you to build more material back past um, well I'll show you in just a moment what I'm talking about let me cure this, this, this flexible stuff is taking a little bit longer to to cure, it's taking about uh, 10 to 15 seconds is what we're telling people compare that to the standard stuff that we're using, the, the thin and the thick that usually takes only uh, three to five seconds to cure the entire fly. And it's just real simple material to use. There's no way to uh, really screw it up. It just is real foolproof. All right, I'm gonna light it up and we can uh, change the, um, well add, add materials because we're not perfectly symmetrical. And what we're doing right now is just basically building up a body. Like I mentioned earlier, the thinner you, you apply the material, the um, the more flexibility it has. That's that's cured, but what I want to do is add some more material to make it look a little bit more symmetrical. So I'm just going to squeeze on a little bit more and get it a little bit more, more rounded here. Let me just do that by again squeezing the applicator, pushing down the plunger. And we're good. Now we're much more symmetrical. We have a fuller body. 
and you're able to push the material exactly where you need it to be. And there it is. So we light it up again. That tackiness, remember, we talked about the bonding. It's going to basically turn into one piece now. So um, we're real happy with it. We are uh, getting a lot of great feedback from from what we've given out or, or, or sold. We just recently started selling it, uh, basically March 1st, and uh, the demand has been great. Um, we're looking forward to seeing what you guys can do with this stuff. Always looking for new ideas, um, new patterns, and really appreciate the, uh, the um, flies, that you, the picture of the flies that you guys send in. All right, so we're bonded, we're cured, we're set. The stuff is very flexible, and uh, it looks great. Forceps is kind of like the thing to show you how squishy it is. I can just tell you it, it, it has some good flexibility to it, and it always wants to go back to where it started. The clarity, look how, how great that is. I'll put a, a nice black background on it so you can maybe see how, how clear that is. Um, real happy with it. Love the material, um, but doing a few more flies with it and hope you enjoy using it as much as we have. Thanks again for your support, and uh, we look forward to seeing some more emails and pictures um, from flies that you guys have tied with this stuff.